I'd like to move to the next trend, which is uh, the shift from the physical to the virtual space. I think I touched on this at the very beginning of this uh, session, but uh, I think, you know, uh, in the initial days of uh, this remote work, we were very optimistic about things going back to the physical office very soon. But then, you know, uh, there was surprise after surprise. And uh, now we have uh, kind of comfortably settled into this hybrid work model, remote working, working collaboratively with virtual teams across the globe and communication and learning that the whole um, it's it's changed so uh, dramatically because everything has now shifted more or less to the virtual space. And uh, here's an interesting statistic, uh, which I've taken from the LinkedIn Workplace Learning Report. Uh, globally, L&D professionals were polled, and it was found that 79% of organizations are planning to continue to shift their budgets away from ILT to online learning. So again, this uh, doesn't come as a very big surprise, but this is a trend that you know, this uh, move from the physical to the virtual space is going to be here for some time. And uh, the benefits, of course, are that you know, with virtual training, you have uninterrupted training. And uh, it's also one way of helping employees deal with the change in a very seamless way. I think one of you mentioned um, emotional well-being is also a top concern for organizations. And uh, Virtual training, you know, um, is one way also with the virtual classroom training. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm talking specifically about the virtual classroom training, which is one way to really keep uh, employees connected, motivated, and so on. Uh, some popular online formats are the VILT videos, which have which were always popular, but which have become increasingly popular in the recent past. And providing learners uh, opportunities for self-study, uh, asynchronous kinds of uh, training formats such as e-learning. So you, and here again, you can provide a very immersive e-learning experience to the learner. And another hot favorite is micro-learning, because uh, some of the buzzwords that we've been hearing very, uh, very often are learning in the flow of work. You know, ensuring that employees uh, don't have to dedicate long periods of time away from their work for training, but where you just integrate your uh, training in, right into their flow of work. So that training is as uh, least disruptive as possible. 